This video speaks about the Campaigns API provided by Exotel. This API is to simplify your customer interactions with campaigns. This outbound solution is capable of scheduling, communicating, gathering and reporting feedback from all of your customers in one go. A simple use case would be if the company wanted to reach out to multiple customers for product promotions at the same time. We'll first see how the Create Campaigns API works. I'll be using Postman to demo. The base URL for the Campaigns API is api.exotel.com slash v2 slash accounts slash your Exotel SID. For the Create Campaigns API, the endpoint would be slash campaigns. You will first have to create a flow. This will involve the business logic and can be done by going to the Exotel dashboard and clicking on App Bazaar and then click on Create. The URL of this flow is one of the parameters you will need to pass to create the campaign. Next, you will need to get an Exotel number from which the calls will be made. Again, this can be done from the Exotel dashboard. This is the caller ID field. The number of the recipients or the customers should go into the array field called from. The maximum numbers that you can add is 5000. The numbers have to be in E164 format. The next parameter is called retries and takes care of what should take place if the number being called is busy or the user did not answer or the call failed. In our case, three retries would be made in the interval of two minutes. The mechanism is exponential, so the first interval would be 2 to the power 1, 2, the second interval would be 2 to the power 2, 4, and so on. The retry will happen only if the call has failed in our case. You can add no answer and busy to this list. The next parameter, schedule, specifies the start and end time of the campaign. The fields are called send at and end at. The time specified here has to be in UTC format. If you want updates as to how your campaign is going, you can add a request bin URL or a custom URL in the status callback field. That's it. You have now created your campaign. You can edit this campaign anytime before it starts by sending a put request and adding campaigns slash campaign SID to the base URL. You can also get the status of your campaign by sending a get request. The endpoint for this would be slash campaigns slash campaign SID. If your campaign is completed, you will get a report URL that will download the entire report of your campaign. It looks something like this. You can delete a campaign before it starts by sending a delete request. The endpoint would still be the same slash campaigns slash campaign SID. If you have any queries or would like to know more about the campaign's API, please visit developer.exitl.com.